I'm home! Nick? Why is it so dark in here? Nick! Are you home? Nick? Stop playing games! I know you're here. This... This scent... It seems... Familiar. It smells like... Night hell? <laughs> Sorry, Judy, I just can't help myself. But this was the last time, I promise. I even bought Night Howler's essence to scare you and help cover my natural sexy fox scent. I prepared a pretty nice scenario, didn't I? Hey, you can stop with it now. Um, Judy? Aw, come on. You're milking it again, you know. Stop that already, carrots. It stopped being funny two minutes ago. Fluff? Just stop pretending. You're... Uh, she... She isn't breathing. She's cold. No. It... It can't be. God, what have I done? <gasps> Judy, my love. I can't live without you. <laughs> Please, stay with me. Wake up and stay with me. Don't leave me alone. Boo. <laughs> Wait, what? Didn't you know we bunnies can play dead very well? Play dead? You nearly killed me! Aw, who's milking it now? Anyway, I got what I wanted. Judy, my love. I can't live without you. <laughs> I... I don't remember saying anything like that. Oh, my foxy fox. <laughs> Don't. Just don't. <sighs> you don't understand my pred needs. Foxes. So predictable. Are you ready, Carrots? It's almost time. Yes, I am. Well, what do you think? Wow, you look gort. Uh... What? Something wrong? What have you done to your face? Oh, you mean this? I just applied some eyeshadow and lipstick. Do you like it? Um, uh, why did you do that? I thought you'd like it, but you got disgusted. Hey, I didn't say that. You don't have to. But what do I know? I'm only a dumb bunny, aren't I? Wait, Judy, it was not what I meant. Look, you don't need makeup. You have a natural beauty, especially your lips. They're naturally rosy and... No, don't say the C word. Sexy. You have sexy lips. Do you... Do you really think so? <laughs> you betcha. Well, I'll clean up all this mess then. Not so fast, Fluff. Let me do it for you. What? Nick! Shh, just a few more licks, okay? See? You're much better now. By the way, that was tasty. Did you use a strawberry lipstick? Now that we're done with this, let's go to the party. Hmm? Carrots? No, you sly fox. We're not done with this. Yet. Jeez, Ben, you look worried! Do I? Well, it's about Nick and Hops. They're a bit late already. Maybe they're stuck in some traffic jam. Yes, maybe. But just in case... Huh? Wait, Judy! It's a call from Clowhouser! 
Sweet cheese, just forget it, Nikki. That wouldn't be fair. He's a nice guy and a great friend of ours. Oh my, all right, but be quick. Hey, Claw the Paw, what's up? Nikki. Uh, yeah, we've had some setbacks, but... Huh? Uh, sure. Nikki! Uh, we'll go to the party. We just... No, it's, it's all okay. We're fine. What? Y yes, it's Judy. No, I told you. We're fine. Nick! Claw, I must hang up. Ciao, see you later. So? They're okay, but... I don't think they'll come here after all. Why? <laughs> well... I think Nick and Hops are having their own party, and it's better than ours. Where am I? What am I doing here? Is this... a dream? I can feel my paws and I can feel the breeze softly touching my fur. I can smell the sweet scent of many flowers. Therefore I am wide awake. But, am I really awake? Why do I have this sensation? The impression that I am in the wrong place? The impression that I am out of time and space? I feel as if the whole universe has been warped and was turned inside out. And, wait, I think I am hearing voices. These voices, I know them. I know who are their owners. This particular voice. The last time I heard this voice was a long time ago, when I was younger and much more cocky than now. Yes, the voice of my beloved mom, whom I haven't seen since I was 12, when I stupidly left my home and started living in Zootopia streets. And here she is, still looking at me as if I were a little kid instead of a grown fox. As if it had not been 20 years or more since the last time we looked at each other. Even after my long absence, she has no hard feelings. There are no reprimands, not even a complaint. The only thing she has to give me is her endearing smile. A smile I thought I would never see again. Not in this life. Boy, she's a real lady. God only knows how much I wanted to see this smile again, but I didn't have the guts to go back home. At least she knew I was alive because I sent her a large part of my ill-gotten gains monthly. I hope she never finds out how I... Wait, she's still saying something, but I can't make it out. All my senses are a little numb. I feel dizzy and it's hard to think. I wonder what she... Nicholas, my darling... I'm so proud of you. What? Congratulations, Wild. You're the best, pal. I am happy for you, Nick. You were great, Wild. Congrats, Nick. I owe you my respect. You did it right, Nick. Everyone... Everyone is praising me, but why? What did I do to deserve these props? Anyway, thanks mom. Thanks my friends. I love you all folks. I... the aroma of many flowers? I smell this heady perfume again. There are hundreds, no, thousands of flowers. And they're coming from everywhere. There are roses and lilies, bunches and bunches of them. They are forming wreaths, garlands. W what does all this mean? Perhaps... Wait a minute. Is this a... a... A wedding bouquet? What am I dreaming of? Am I getting married? With who? Judy? Is that you? My god, she's so beautiful. She's even more beautiful today than she usually is. 
and I know why. She sure looks stunning in her wedding dress, but it's her face that makes her heart beat faster. This is the face a bride shows to her groom on their wedding day. Judy, are you really here by my side, smiling lovingly at me? Or is this just a dream? Well, I don't know if I'm dreaming or not, but there is one thing I know for sure. I love you, Judy. I will love you for all the days of my life. And in every one of these days, I'll try to be worthy of your love. In good fortune or in adversity. In sickness and in health. I'll always be at your side. Judy, your smile and your happiness are my most precious treasures. And if all I'm seeing now is just a dream, I don't want to wake up anymore. I want to dream of you forever. Oh, Judy, Nick, you two should come to Bunnyboro more often. Yeah, Bonnie's right. We were missing you two so much. Hope you guys will stay here longer this time. Hey, Jude. Guess who arrived here yesterday? My cousin Tom. Yeah, the traveling one finally came back home. Do you remember how many times I told you about him and the funny things he did? There he is. Hey, Tom, come here, old dude. I want you to meet my daughter Judith and her fox husband. Er, uh, Judy, cousin Tom came to Bunny Burrow very unexpectedly. I didn't know he was. Hi, fellows. Nice to meet the two of you. Tom and I were great buddies in our youth. Ain't he a tall guy? He's half hare, half rabbit. I think making mixed couples is a thing in our family. He's a biker who loves adventure. He traveled many countries and spent years out of the burrows. How many, Bon? Oh, uh, er, I... I don't remember. Golly! How come you don't remember? He started traveling just some months before Judy's birthday. Uh, yes, some months. Yeah, by the way, that was the only time you gave birth to just one kit, ain't you? Y yes I think that was an unforgettable thing for you, huh? Ha! Didn't I say he's cool? Personally, I don't approve Cousin Tom's lifestyle, but hey, he's exceptional. He's a rebel like you, Judy. Maybe you kind of takes after his side of the family. Heaven Stu, can't you just stop talking? Gosh, uh, you're right, Bon. I am hogging all the conversation, sorry. Hey, Jude, Nick, well, what do you guys have to say to Cousin Tom? Mm. Mm. Pleased to meet you. Dad, oops, I mean Cousin Tom. Please stop, 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 stop! Thanks for watching. Check the latest episode and also playlist with similar episodes like this one. See you in the next video.